It's Friday morning, and like a couch potato craving a long weekend, you're off to work happily, knowing the weekend is just around the corner. But then, out of nowhere, the dreaded blue screen of death appears, giving you an unexpected extra day off. What would your reaction be? Come, let's see how the world reacted to this in today's exploration. Chapter 1. The Incident Unfolds What do you know about the CrowdStrike disaster? Let's take a top view of what most of us have heard about this incident, the dreaded blue screens. On July 19, 2024, an update to CrowdStrike's Falcon software, meant to improve security, instead unleashed digital chaos. While everyone was working peacefully on their computers, suddenly, the screens turned blue. Not just any blue, but the notorious blue screen of death. This wasn't just happening to you, it was happening to millions of people worldwide. In just 90 minutes, businesses everywhere were thrown into disarray. IT departments were frantically trying to stop the wave of BSODs, but the damage was already done. Over 8.5 million Windows devices were affected, bringing everything from small offices to major corporations to a standstill. The disruption was far-reaching, canceling flights, delaying or even canceling medical procedures, and throwing many other routine societal systems into chaos. Despite the serious impact, many users took to social media to joke about the early weekend arrival. Memes and jokes about the free vacation spread like wildfire, providing a brief moment of levity amid the chaos. But apart from the stories and jokes, how did this really happen? Chapter 2. The Technical Breakdown To grasp the full impact of the CrowdStrike disaster, we need to explore the technical intricacies and the major players involved. Let's start with Microsoft and CrowdStrike. Microsoft, the tech behemoth behind Windows, provides the operating system that powers a vast number of computers globally. On the other hand, CrowdStrike is a top-tier cybersecurity firm renowned for its sophisticated threat detection and response capabilities. Unlike more well-known cybersecurity companies like Kaspersky or Symantec, CrowdStrike's products are predominantly used by organizations rather than individual users. With a strong reputation for combating advanced and state-sponsored cyber threats, CrowdStrike is a preferred choice for government agencies and critical infrastructure. CrowdStrike's Falcon software is specifically designed to safeguard endpoints from cyber threats, making it an essential tool in the cybersecurity arsenal of numerous organizations. However, the recent fiasco stemmed from an update to this very software. This update intended to enhance protection for Microsoft Windows devices against malicious attacks, ended up causing widespread disruption instead. CrowdStrike acknowledged that the problem originated from a bug in their cloud-based testing system, which allowed a flawed software update to be released. This led to an out-of-bounds memory read on Windows devices, where the software tried to access memory it wasn't supposed to. Essentially, it was like trying to open a door with the wrong key, but instead of just jamming the lock, it set the whole building on fire triggering the infamous BSOD and resulting in a catastrophic collision between the two entities. This incident highlighted the delicate balance between security enhancements and potential risks. CrowdStrike's preliminary report highlighted this technical mishap. Despite their rigorous testing protocols, this bug slipped through the cracks, demonstrating that even the most sophisticated systems can have vulnerabilities. The result? a massive disruption that underscored the fragility of our digital infrastructure. Chapter 3 The Ripley Effect of a Digital Disaster But why did this problem have such a massive impact across so many industries? Simply put, you can't find a place without a Microsoft computer. Think of your friends. Chances are, you can easily guarantee at least one Microsoft user. The 8.5 million Windows devices affected by the CrowdStrike update error represented less than 1% of all Windows devices. However, the outage was so widespread because it hit organizations operating critical societal infrastructure that rely on specialized cybersecurity services from CrowdStrike. These sectors included agriculture, airlines, banking, energy, government, healthcare, manufacturing, and retail. 
According to CrowdStrike CEO George Kurtz, the issues only impacted Windows PCs, sparing other operating systems from the chaos. Dear competitors, if you don't know the weight of Microsoft and CrowdStrike, then I hope you know how widespread they are. Imagine trying to navigate a world without Microsoft or CrowdStrike. You'd probably need a map and a lot of luck. But jokes apart, the real issue here is that everything is digitally connected. An outage is not just about losing access to emails or files, but about disrupting the critical infrastructure and cyber-physical systems we depend on daily. This means it affects our right to receive medical care or travel freely. Everything from our food supply to our energy systems relies on secure and resilient digital technologies. So, Microsoft and CrowdStrike didn't have time to think. Chapter 4 – Microsoft and CrowdStrike's Response In the immediate aftermath of the outage, both Microsoft and CrowdStrike faced intense scrutiny. Microsoft, though not directly responsible for the flawed update, was deeply impacted due to the widespread use of Windows. Their response was swift, focusing on providing support to affected users and working closely with CrowdStrike to mitigate the impact. CrowdStrike, on the other hand, had to navigate a PR nightmare. Their initial gesture of offering 10 US dollars Uber Eats gift card to affected partners was met with ridicule and disbelief. Social media lit up with memes and jokes, with one popular tweet reading, CrowdStrike, crashing your computers, and then offering you a burger as an apology. Despite the initial misstep, CrowdStrike quickly shifted gears. They pledged significant changes to prevent future incidents, including enhancing their testing and validation processes, implementing staggered deployment strategies, and providing customers with more control over updates. These measures aim to restore confidence in their services and demonstrate their commitment to cybersecurity. Chapter 5. Fixing the Fallout ET teams around the world were instructed to boot affected computers into safe mode remove the problematic update, and then restart their systems. This process, while tedious, was necessary to restore functionality. Additionally, CrowdStrike advised organizations to implement enhanced monitoring and incident response plans. Real-time monitoring tools were emphasized to catch issues as they occur, allowing for quicker isolation and resolution. This proactive approach was crucial in mitigating the damage and preventing similar incidents in the future. However, the question remains, is the problem really solved? Chapter 6 – Ongoing Issues and Unanswered Questions While the immediate crisis was managed, the CrowdStrike incident left behind a trail of ongoing issues. Many organizations reported lingering problems with system stability and performance. The financial fallout was staggering, with Fortune 500 companies facing losses estimated at over 5 billion US dollars. The healthcare and banking sectors were particularly hard hit, with losses of 1.94 billion US dollars and 1.15 billion US dollars, respectively. Moreover, cyber criminals quickly sought to exploit the chaos. Opportunistic threat actors registered domains mimicking CrowdStrike's remediation efforts, aiming to deceive victims into downloading malicious fixes or paying for fake solutions. This added another layer of complexity to the recovery process, as IT teams had to contend with both the fallout from the update and the new wave of cyber threats. The incident also highlighted significant gaps in cybersecurity insurance coverage. Only 10% to 20% of the losses were covered, leaving many organizations to shoulder the financial burden. This has sparked a broader conversation about the adequacy of current insurance frameworks and the need for better coverage of cyber incidents. Chapter 7 – Safeguarding the Future the CrowdStrike disaster serves as a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities inherent in our digital infrastructure. It underscores the critical importance of rigorous testing, robust monitoring, and comprehensive incident response plans. First off, diversifying systems is a must. Relying on a single system or provider can amplify the impact of failures. By diversifying cybersecurity measures and implementing redundant systems, organizations can minimize risks. This way, a single point of failure doesn't lead to widespread chaos. Imagine if your favorite superhero team was just one hero. 
pretty risky, right? Next, let's talk about quality assurance. Rigorous quality assurance processes are essential to prevent issues from slipping through the cracks. Automated testing is like having a diligent robot assistant who never sleeps and catches even the tiniest bugs. While manual testing is still important, it can't cover everything. Automated tests can simulate a vast array of scenarios, ensuring that even minor changes don't introduce new problems. Deploying updates in stages is another lifesaver. Instead of throwing a huge party with hundreds of guests at once, you invite a few friends over first to see how it goes. If something goes wrong, it's easier to manage. Methods like rolling updates, blue-green deployments, canary testing, and split testing allow for gradual implementation. This way, if something goes haywire, you can quickly roll back without causing widespread disruption. Disaster recovery plans are your safety net. A robust disaster recovery plan and reliable backups ensure that companies are prepared to restore systems quickly in the event of a major incident. Finally, proactive monitoring is key. Detailed incident response plans should include protocols for quick identification, isolation, and resolution of problems. It's about being ready to spring into action at a moment's notice, ensuring that any issue is swiftly dealt with. Chapter 8. Shout out to the rapid response teams. Although the CrowdStrike incident was a significant setback, it also showcased the resilience and dedication of IT professionals worldwide. From Microsoft's support teams to CrowdStrike's engineers, countless individuals worked tirelessly to resolve the issue and restore normalcy. Their quick action and commitment to finding solutions prevented an even greater catastrophe. In the end, while a mistake was made, the response demonstrated the true spirit of the cybersecurity community. They took responsibility, faced the challenge head-on, and worked around the clock to fix the problem. This incident serves as a reminder that even in the face of digital chaos, there are teams of dedicated professionals ready to step up and safeguard our digital world. As we move forward, let's carry these lessons with us and continue to strive for a more secure and resilient digital landscape. And next time you see a blue screen, just remember, there's a team of unsung heroes working behind the scenes to get you back up and running. And don't forget to share this video with all your colleagues. Let them learn about the technical chaos happening around.